another week of training really focusing on the leg locks today i attacked lots of leg locks so i just went for a takedown as quickly as i could because then i got my takedown for the day and then i immediately started to attack leg locks so the idea of what i'm trying to do is actually trying to get my knees in behind your knees however i can so if i'm gonna be scooting underneath you i need to be under your knees and then from there i can start going into 411 and more controlling leg locking positions but one thing i did want to make sure i was doing was going back and forth with the passing pressure and when i felt like you were doing too good of a job sitting back and making sure your legs were in a good place that I would come up and then threaten the pass. Right here, if I turned really fast, I may have been able to damage on your knee, but you knew that and we talked about that. Just be careful there. And then from here, I was just trying to recover wrestling and then going inverting for leg locks. There was a couple times where I actually got dizzy from how quickly I was spinning into leg locks. And so whenever I'm in guard, I'm looking to invert over your legs. So you ended up going on your knees and passing. And you did a good job when I tried to attack outside and 411 ones. So at a certain point, I ditched the strategy for more general leg locks and went right into the 50-50. A little barambolo here just to keep it interesting i almost got to your back here but you end up doing a good job inverting in the right way and then we're a reset Yeah, you're doing a good job rotating your hips, even when I have that Mikey lock grip. And so you're doing a really good job recognizing when I'm trapping your leg in a bad way. And then in this case, you actually get away with a really nice little toe hold. I want you to pay attention to the one thing that stopped my movement was your one single leg attempt completely shut down my movement and I had to reset. So just remember that a good defense also needs a little bit of offense, even though I'm moving very quickly in weird ways. If you look for openings and do that little reach out with your hand, I will stop moving to address it. And then from here, I'm just looking to wrestle in any way I can, grabbing parts of your leg. And then from here, I think you do a really good job controlling my pressure and then getting into exactly where you want to go. I thought I was good here. I thought I'd be able to get into a better position, but yeah, just really smart work with the leg flexibility to get into crucifix and then to the back, just really technical work.
So one thing to consider is when you sit up like that to get your legs away from me and engage your head and arms, it is open for guillotines. So I was able to capitalize on that, but you do obviously a great job defending this guillotine choke. Maybe I could have been a little more pressure a little more strength, use a little more strength, but this guillotine was tight, so I had to really be focused here. I knew you didn't have the leverage, but it was a tight pressure, so I just had to wait, and then your arm burns out, I get into a better position. From here, I should have been able to finish. I had a good darts grip, but you do this really nifty darts escape where you grab your own leg. Ed does this one too, and it's tough, even though I have perfect darts grips, I can't finish just because you have that extra leverage of your leg. And then from there, I try for a 10 finger guillotine just trying to collapse your throat, but you do a really good job timing exactly how I'm gonna have pressure and then you spin right away. So this is the closest I got with the darts, but you do that really nice defense here. So I've watched a lot of instructionals, Marcelatine instructionals, Lachlan Giles, no gi chokes instructionals. And it's tough when they can rotate and they can move in a way that prevents a lot of the chokes. So that's one thing that I'll have to work on, but it's tough even though it is the second most common submission in the MMA, it is attempted way more than any submission I would say. So this is just a great passing sequence. You can see I'm trying to attack your legs, trying to invert over, but I actually don't have as great of leg mobility as you do to get into those little spaces. So you did a great job weaving your body right into the gaps that I just couldn't go. So really great passing pressure. That's one thing that you do really well that I really appreciate is my guard is really good because your passing is so good. There was a bit of a calf slicer here, but you had so much weight in your leg that even though I think there was just so much strength in that leg, maybe if I pulled harder, but yeah, I wasn't gonna risk it too much with that leg lock because it was really, I was really in a bad position. So I've been in this position with people that are even lighter than me and it's really hard to flatten them out unless you're right on top of their hips. And then, so it's tough. It's almost a better option to go right into the guillotine and darts from that position just because you can hold me down a little bit further and it's a longer lever away from the hips so you can keep me bent over or down a little bit. So after the takedown, I feel like I'm in a good passing position, so I just figure to take it as far as I can with the passing. And this is where I'm looking for the dog bar. I'm looking to get really good control of your heel and then twist and try and do a little heel hook or knee bar pressure you did a really good job avoiding but obviously when you try to avoid the submission you give up position for the pass but you do a good job scooting away but then i collapse into this underhook half guard passing and as you know this is pretty much an overpowered position in jiu-jitsu I just spam punch chokes, get that arm isolated away, and then I punch choke. And so it's tough, it's tough, especially when the guy's heavier than you. 
They have that balance. You can see in the mirror how I'm maintaining my balance on top of you. I'm tripoded and then eventually I settle back down. Once I get the grips that I like, I don't care about the legs. I let you get the legs and then I crunch the neck. My favorite move of the day, this shot, and then I invert at the right time. I keep my knees in front of your chest so you can't step over, and then I drag your leg down, and then I'm right into a leg lock as soon as I can, because that inside leg purchase is really nice for a leg lock. And then from here, just really good positional work from you. Looking for that guillotine again, always, if you step leg back then the guillotine is there just great passing here though and then i look get that lock down once i have this locked down i fake and i do the lever the knee lever john wayne sweep just my favorite half guard sequence yeah just some high level half guard for me in this last few bit just uh exhibition of my half guard skills <laughs> And then we go into kind of a weird leg locking sequence. I invert over once, but then you do a good job avoiding standing up, but then I do it again. That's the Lachlan Giles to the backside 50-50. And then from here, if I pull your heel up, I can get your heel hooked right away. But then you need to do this and escape your knee as you're doing it. The one problem was that the knee was still deep and then I was able to lock my legs and finish the 50-50 heel hook. Just a bit of a strategic mistake. Stepping in and going right for a guillotine would have worked, but I was looking for that leg. So as soon as you step that leg in, even for a foot sweep, I was grabbing it. So right here we talked, you need to get me on my side more and suck my leg in by getting onto your stomach a little more and grabbing my legs. It's tough when my legs are so big, but with people with a little bit stronger, weaker legs. And then that pressure on the toe will shut down any inversion. Such good pressure, such good pressure for passing and shutting down leg locks. Then, rookie mistake, let you get the darts too deep before I addressed it. Great training this week, I'll see you next week. <laughs>